Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about function notation. So we have a function, which we'll call f, from a to b. And so the definition of a function is the following. It says f is a function, so f is a function. If to each element, so A here is a set, so its members are elements. So to each element, let's say little a in A, F assigns one element and only one, so one element in B. So to every element in A, F assigns an element in B. Right, so the way we typically write that is, say we have a in a. Uh, this element goes to f of a, which is in b. So a here has a name. Big A has a name. It's called the domain. It's the set of all inputs. So every element in a has to get assigned, and b is called the codomain. Codomain. So domain and codomain. Let's look at an example uh, of a function so you see how this works. Let's say we have a equals, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3. And b equals uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this case, we have f. a is the domain and b is the codomain. All right, and let's create the function. So in order to define our function, we have to assign an element um, in B for each element in A. So we can say that F takes 1 and sends it to 3, just making this up. Uh, how about uh, F takes 2 and sends it to 4? And F takes 3 and sends it to 5. And that's it. We have a function. If you wanted to draw a picture to represent this, you could use little diagrams, right? You could call this A. You could call this uh, B. And then so here's 1, 2, 3. I'll put little dots here. Well, I'll leave it like that. And then here's 3, 4, 5, 6. So A is the domain. B is the codomain. And so we know that 1 goes to 3. 2 goes to 4. 3 goes to 5, and that's it. Notice that nothing goes to 6. That's okay, right? For it to be a function, everything in A has to get assigned to an element in B, and we've done that, so we've created a function. Notice it says one element, so you, you can't have one going to two different numbers. In that case, uh, it would not be a function. So function notation, as a recap, is f a to b. A is called the domain, B is called the codomain. Let's do another uh, example. How about one that's a little more maybe familiar? Let's define F from the set of real numbers, so R, into the set of real numbers, R, by F of X equals X squared. So this is a function. It takes uh, a number x and assigns it a y value, x squared. Right? We, can almost, we can also write y equals x squared. So the x values are the inputs. They're in the domain. This is the domain. And the y values are the outputs. They're in the codomain. codomain. If you graph this function, you would graph all of the x, y pairs. And you would get a parabola, which I'm sure you're familiar with if you're, if you're watching this video. So the graph of the function would look uh, something like uh, that. Uh, the range of this function, this is a word that uh, I typically avoid using. Uh, the range would be bracket zero infinity. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. And again, the goal is that you know that this is called the domain and this is called the codomain. And the codomain can be bigger than the domain. It's okay, right? Not everything has to um, have a, ha get hit by something in the um, domain. You can have numbers that don't get touched by elements of A. That's it.